we've actually seen the biggest growth of folks saying that they need skills development and soft skills development. It's over 60% at the moment from the results that are coming through. And, and this is the highest growth that we've seen year on year. So that skills development, soft skills development is really kind of the top of people's lists in terms of how do you, how do you push forward with that. And, and that's no surprise really when you think about it because there's so much transformation that's happening within enterprises and, and how organisations are working. So those soft skills are so, so relevant. Um, and obviously that's, that's very important for us here at Hemsley because that is absolutely core to what we do. The other pieces that are that are coming out in terms of you know really key themes is thinking about innovation. You know how do we innovate the way we think about what what does face to face learning look like going forward? So going back to kind of full days in the classroom, somebody running through PowerPoint isn't necessarily what is needed for the future going forward. They've got to be a lot more experiential. They've got to be a lot more interactive really if you're investing in bringing folks together from a sustainability and environmental impact all of those different things you've got to think about now it's really about how do you get that human conversation helping each other really push each other to the limits and and that interaction between people rather than sitting there just kind of doing chalk and talk so for us i think you know what we're hearing is innovation in that in when you are bringing people together in that kind of face-to-face -face environment the third thing that we're seeing is much clearer and um, enhanced um, learning management systems um, and the technology that goes around that. So how do you make sure they're intuitive, they've got great user experience, um, how do you make sure that it doesn't feel like a jumble sale of content? Um, you know, are they really fit for purpose and what are they doing? So the learning management systems is, is something that folks really want to see some innovation around and how do you make that really, really fit for purpose? Technology is going to be key. How do we make sure that it's so user-focused and user-friendly that it's really delivering value?